What's up, Fitterbenders? And this is part two of in-depth review of LEGO Rivendell. If you want to check out part one, there's a video for that. And if you want to check out the general review, there's also a video for that. And part three will be out soon after this video. So yeah, anyway, guys, part two is going to be the gazebo bridge side. If you know where that is in Rivendell, it's different parts of Rivendell. This is 100% accurate, but the more naturistic side. And let's get right into that review now. So let's move right on in. We're going to start to the far left here with the bridge. There's the cutoff point. You get, I do want to mention one thing since you can see it right here. And it reminds me, you get a lot of these nice mint colored bricks in this set. You only can see one underneath, but I love that color. There's the Technic pins to add in, to put in onto the review. Not the review, to the other section of the build that it adds to. Let's go to the back to this waterfall that's moving on. I love the mist, I love the water, and I love the rock right here. The waterfall is nice looking, very simple, but it has a lot of nice detail at this bottom down here with this nice rock. I love the detail. Believe me, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is my favorite section. I'm not even going to wait till the general review or overall review. This is my best set, favorite section because the nature is so fun to build. This is probably the most fun build that you do in this set, and it's going to be this one because it's so cool. It's so different than the rest. Come on. The rest is a building. This is not a building except for the gazebo. It's nature, and I love that. And the bridge, but the bridge is a new part of the building, so it's cool. Anyway, on this blue pieces, you do get a lot of translucent blue tiles and studs. So in theory, you can take one minifigure and you can put them and have them walk on water or lay them down in the water if you want. It doesn't really matter. You get a little pop mist right there and just the rock walling side building and all that looks really neat, really cool. Get some ferns, leafage foliage not leafage you know like a little foliage on the edge of the river and moving at the very front it does look like the river just falls off into a waterfall really neat really cool i love that where they make sure it doesn't look like it just got cut off they actually finish the river in theory they finish it i, I love that and some more ferns you will notice there's a lot of ferns in this part of the build here looks really nice the bridge i love the bridge the bridge is super cool it's got a lot of space underneath to lay a minifigure down if you want to put a minifigure there. And it's nice art. Looks really nice, accurate to the, how it looks in the show. Movie, I mean, not show. And it does have plenty of spaces for minifigures here. As you can see, we got plenty of space for a few minifigures to put on the set. I love that. Also, we got places here, a little bit of walkway. So you get the bridge and then there'd be a walkway over on this side but we're not reviewing that part so don't 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 see the walkway here i don't see it at all but we do have a walkway here it goes down and i love the stair design i do love how they design these stairs with the sideways bricks and nice smooth getting bigger and bigger each time and smaller and smaller going up i just love how that looks here and we get a nice little mountainous look here or hilly look Looks really nice, nice foliage, all that. And then we do get some stairs leading up to the gazebo. That's right. This gazebo is one of the cooler builds, but also one of the more annoying parts of the build. And you can just remove it off, just leaving the tree there and revealing it a little bit better for us to see it. Really nice. But to the gazebo, do not worry about the gazebo breaking once it's built, unless you're trying to break it. But if you're just casually carrying it, holding it, it's not going to fall apart. It'd be kind of funny if that fell off. But you can put, this is where Arwen and Aragorn make out, I believe, in the show. I mean, movie. In the movie. And this is another sofa couch. If you watch part one of the in-depth review, you will see this couch or bed chilling in the library. Go check that out if you haven't seen this couch yet. Yep. I love the design that they use. Life preservers, nice detail art really cool but it's an annoying build because i like my things a little bit perfected and you can notice some differences here just minor differences that i can't do literally nothing to try and do because it won't do anything about it it won't move it won't change it's annoying and you just got to live with it and the best thing to do is honestly just pick it up and put it right back on but we didn't go over the circular base there's the bottom of it i love that technique working on the bottom 
And the circular base is really cool. I love whenever they build a circle in this because it's super cool. And I love it when they add little nature pieces to it. And what I like about the little nature pieces added and like a stairway is it's easy to put on. You know how it's going to be put on because this is a stair here. So you know it's going to go right with the stairs. So very simple. And this piece locks it in too. So it's not really a safe position, meaning when you're carrying this set around, do not carry it upside down. That's all I'm going to say because it will fall off but it's very secure in there like i mean look it's not falling out when i shake this set it won't fall out when you push it on the side it like literally the only way to get this set off is lifting up that's the only way so pretty nice indeed and let's move on down these steps we do get some glow glow mushrooms here the bottom piece is all glowy mushroom so we do get some there and there will be some all the way in the back which we'll show you in a minute there's some foliage some nice rock work build all on the side here and then we get the little platform that you can place many figures and just the front of the blacksmith here there's the front there's the entrance some nice torches looks really nice and you see some weapons in there already we do get a nice tree right up in the front that has some green gold leaves and then obviously we have our autumn tree in the back more and i love how that autumn tree looks we do get some side fungus or mushroom pieces here and no this is not an illegal building technique a little fun fact as lego wouldn't be allowed to do it that illegal building technique in the set yeah i love the tree builds with the roots and all that i the tree builds are so much fun even these little trees are fun every single tree in the set's fun okay there was one that wasn't fun and that's going to be in the third part of the in-depth review it's going to leave that leave the worst for, for last you know little mushroom we do get a long sword here you've seen it on aragorn if you watch the general review really cool a little anvil for this for the gigantic sword we do get a shovel and a hammer sitting in a barrel and we do get a lot of tree roots around this furnace that is a furnace if you want to know a lot of tree roots a lot of little rocks and even a branch coming out of the rock wall here with some leaves on it so pretty cool indeed i do love the roots I love this nature. Love it indeed. Here's another angle of the tree. Let's move even back even more. And there's those other mushrooms that I was talking about earlier. There's three of them back here that glow. You don't really ever notice them in the set. And you do get a little frog, just a little Easter eggs and a leaf. So I love that, that no section was unleft unattended. Now, technically this was as there's black bricks here, but there's these mushrooms chilling. So, and this is the back to the blacksmith here. If you want a better look at it which we will give you you remove the gazebo you notice it lit up even more because there's lights that, that's the inside of it not nothing too crazy we're just going to give you a few you do get like a grindstone right here that does turn you do get sting with probably a sharpener there that's what i would believe it is a sharpener and you do get two weapons racks that do remove and come with weapons so all these weapons on here yeah actually yeah all of them on here come with the set is going to include four elven swords, one dwarven axe, another dwarven axe, a Bormir sword or a short sword, and an, another elven bow. So really cool. The only there's only three clips, five, four clips not in use. So I'm glad they used up most of the clips here for weapons, and I'm glad they're giving us four elven swords, especially considering the fact that we might not get another lord of the rings like a set ever so that's why i'm so glad to have this one because of that get some nice detailing really nice detailing here but yeah guys that's going to be the end up review here oh and there's a lamp there i know i forgot to mention that so i didn't forget anything else end up review here let's go to my overall review of it overall as this is my favorite section of the set it's going to get my highest rating for it if you do want to know the rating system for these end-up reviews are different than the other rating systems i do for overall lego sets overall lego sets are based off of every other lego set in, that i own and every other lego set ever created while this rating system is more just for rivendell itself for each part the last part i believe i gave it an 8.5 this one i'm going to give it my highest rating a 9.5 out of 10. i'm still going to rate it kind of like even to everything else because if you had this as a standalone set it's amazing, except for the fact that it looks cut off there. There's no real complaints I have with this set, except for the gazebo. That's where the knock of 0.5 is. But after you just 
ignore the minor imperfections and you just set it up over there and don't think about it for a day, you honestly forget about it and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> that, that's literally how that works. So it's not too big of a deal. I do wish it could be perfect looking, but I'm not going to complain too much as it was tedious and I'm glad I'm not working on it anymore now or building it because it was the most tedious part of the build, but makes it look so nice. So it's pretty dope. I love the nature. I love the build. That's why it's my favorite is because the nature building and just a unique shape. The other ones are going to be very not as unique. They're unique because no other set looks like them, but this one's just different. The other parts are just buildings. So not as fun. This is really fun. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, I go to that like button. If you want to check out the in other in-depth reviews and general review, go watch them. That's all I'm going to say. And if you like this video, like button. If you're not a Thunder Bunny yet, give it the subscribe button. Go check out my other go check out my Clash of Clans content. I do got that. And go check out my Lego content. And bye.